The Playco Pro Series is back and we're featuring the number one player in kill rating and we're getting started right now. All right, let's go ahead and hop right into this, you guys. And the gameplay you're watching on the screen is from none other than Bam himself. So I want to go ahead and thank him for the footage. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. So the number one question you guys always ask is, what devices are these guys playing on? What is Bam rocking, being the number one ranked kill leader in the game? He is playing on an iPad Pro 2020. But wait, there's more. There's more to that story. The coolest part of him playing on the iPad is, and this is a full size iPad, not the iPad mini, is he's using four finger claw, full gyro. They, you often don't see it, but I thought that that was very, very cool. And you'll also notice it when you're watching his gameplay that he is in fact using gyro. Very, very cool. I also asked him before we get into the juicy content, all the tips and tricks and the strategies is what is his all time kill record? being you know the top ranked player in kills and he said 39 let me know in the comment section i don't even know the answer to this what is the the world record most kills um i have i have no clue i want to say it's over 40 though all right and of course we always start off with what is your favorite loadout for high kill games uh he says Automatic 556 five, gun, whether it's M4, whether that's a SCAR L, with any close range gun, depending on what my hip fire is for that day. Sometimes my hip fire is worse than other days, so I use SMGs. If it's if he has good hip fire that day, he's rocking a 762 weapon like an AKM. Uh, if it doesn't seem to be the best, He's using an SMG. So I like that he he adjusts to himself. He's not just, you know, okay, I need to get this load out and that's it, and I'm done. He will adjust depending on how he is playing that day. Really, really like that. All right, and then I went ahead and asked him, what is your favorite map for high kill games? I think we already know the answer to that. If you're looking for a really high kill game, a 39 kill game, you're not playing Noosa. You're not going to be playing Kerrigan. So his favorite map, and I think you guys already know the answer to this, of course, is a wrangle. That is where you're going to see these guys who are breaking these records with, you know, with these high kill games, these solo squad records. They're all playing on a wrangle. All right, let's jump into the tips and tricks, the strategies that Bam is using in his matches. I went ahead and asked him, what is your best overall strategy for staying number one in kill rating? What do you, where do you normally drop? What are your mid game strategies and your end game strategies? Now to answer that, he says, you have got to hot drop. In places like Arango, you get a chance for a double life when you land in these event uh, in these event locations. If you die, you auto respawn. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. He says, use the second life if you can, trying to kill people. Take one person on your team that can handle themselves and push everything. He doesn't want to be babysitting. He says, anticipate where people might be or might go don't stop looking for kills so a key thing that you need to do here in order to find people is you have to pay attention first and foremost where the flight path is where can people go and where will people reach secondly of course where the circle is where is it going to be rotating and when it does shift where is it shifting to what does the layout look like map identification is huge you know in this situation you have to know where people tend to go. Whether it's going to be in hardcover, whether it's going to be in a town, or whether it's going to be in the actual landscape of the circle, you have to be able to identify where people are going to go. All right, next question. Do you play with a full squad or do you solo squad? He says, I play with a full squad that has their mics on and can handle themselves. If they get knocked, they knock one or more. And in the event that he dies, he makes sure that he sticks with his team, that he pushes everything together and that he'll never push by himself. The first life, he'll be going balls out. The second life uh, that he has, he's going to make sure he sticks with his team and pushes together. All right, next question. What are some strategies you use to win close quarter fights? In CQC fights, try not to swing your crosshairs around to follow the enemy when they're jiggling. Keep it centered around their neck area. If you know they're camping, push with a teammate so you don't get thirsted. And also, use the gun you have better suited for close quarters, such as a UMP. 
whether it's that whether that's an Uzi, whether it's the brand new 762 weapon like the Honey Badger, the AKM, weapons that are designed to stop the threat as soon as possible, whether it's an SMG or something like a 762 AR. Next question I said, what are some strategies you use to push a team flank, etc.? It depends where the team is fighting and if it's somewhere like Pachinki, everyone sticks together, push as a whole group and have everyone's back if it's more of an open field. Get a knock or two first and either three people will push, one will stay back, or he'll do a two and two split doing the same strategy, only two flank if I know it's 100% just one squad. All right, and of course, everybody's favorite part, you know, of these Play Like a Pro series is what are the top five tips you would give to someone who wants to get better at the game? So tip number one, think ahead. If a car is leaving its spot and moving, is it trying to rotate on you? What happens if you shoot now? Where will zone end, et cetera? These are questions you have to ask yourself. Think of it like chess. You have to prepare for every possible scenario if you want to have the advantage. Tip number two, learn how to play under pressure. If you're hearing all these shots around you, figure out who's the biggest threat and take them out. Now, and reading all these tips, this has to be my all-time favorite right here, uh, right here, you guys. Tip number three, be comfortable playing sitting up. If your hands are unstable, put a pillow under your elbows to support them like what Athena does. It helps out a lot with your aim. And you guys might remember this video from like over a year ago, maybe two years ago, where we did a reaction video to Athena and his gaming pillow. People, Some people have gaming chairs. Athena has a gaming pillow. So that's, kind of, that's really cool that BAM is kind of implementing you know, something from a really, really good player such as Athena by moving it down. If your elbows are stuck or you're laying on your stomach and you're uncomfortable, you're not gonna have that range of motion that you need when you're playing with gyro, for example. So anyway, great tip. Tip number four, concentrate. Only focus on the game, block out whatever is outside the game and focus, focus, focus. I think that one kind of speaks for itself. And tip number five, saving the best for last right here. He says, make sure you're feeling good when you're playing. Hop on the game, energized, wanting to play. I usually get whatever I need to do done before I play on a school day. But on weekends, I take a shower. I feel good before I hop on. I also keep the vibe positive. I have all chat on sometimes. And you know how it goes. I rage and rage and rage. Keep it to the team chat and keep the lobby positive. If you keep dying over and over again, hop off, take a break, and come back when you feel ready and energized to play again. Really cool. Basically, basically, to sum that up is make sure your mental health is in the right place. If you're frustrated with something outside the game, you know, in real life, that is going to reflect on your gameplay. That is going to have an effect on you. All right, so there you have it, you guys. Our next episode of the Play Like a Pro series featuring the number one kill rating in North America featuring BAM. And I will have a link to his YouTube down in the description. Make sure you guys go ahead and check him out. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed his gameplay. He is so fast. His reaction time, his reflexes, his accuracy. And when you guys watch the gameplay, you can see why he is the number one ranked player when we're talking about kills. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. But until the next one, this has been Riggs.